Halo Infinite's Collector Edition has been revealed, how Halo is taking over Google Trends, Season 1 Battle Pass is going to be revealed very soon, as well as a really interesting look into Halo 2's development. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, the channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. We got some good news today, talking about some collector's edition stuff, a reveal of the battle pass gonna be happening this Friday, and how Halo Infinite is still leading in trends, which is just so great to see. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, let me know you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video and trying to get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe and uh, well, Let's get right into the video here. So the first bit of news, let's get right into the collector's edition that's gonna be available for Halo Infinite. Retailing in a pretty solid $170, which is pretty standard for these collector's editions. It comes with some really interesting things. It comes with a steel book case for the game, along with five awesome little patches you can keep for yourself. A plaza pistol replica bottle opener. And this is really cool. A energy sword desktop lamp. So we'll see how big that ends up being. Two lanyards that include one UNSC charm and one ID wallet, a mini art book, a desktop portfolio, as well as developer notes on top of that. But that's not everything. For the pre order bonus that comes with this, as well, of course, you get Halo Infinite and you receive the Zeta Sky armor coating, as well as a custom emblem and the nameplate and an exclusive M50 sidekick as well. Which, if you were curious how the coating and the sidekick and the emblems looked, well, here is a nice little screenshot for you guys to check out as well. Well, this is also a very common pre-order bonus for pretty much every type of pre-order out there. You can get it in multiple locations. I've seen it for Best Buy, I've seen it for EB Games, GameStop, and things like that. So this is kind of a standard pre-order bonus. So some pretty interesting stuff when it comes to the collector's edition for Halo Infinite. Is it like the best one that we've had so far? Probably not. I mean, obviously we have to compete with like Halo 3 helmet, which is sweet, and Reach's statue, which looked amazing. Uh, but this one, obviously, I think maybe this uh, pandemic might have affected this a little bit when it comes to creating some awesome things. And also just that people buy their games more digitally nowadays. Uh, it's less common, I see, to have people buy into these collector's editions unless you just like have to go out and find them. It is currently sold out right now on Walmart, but it may be coming in stock later on this year. If it does, I'll let you guys know on this channel. Our next bit of news here, guys, we have Halo Infinite still trending really strong on Google searches. Now, this is obviously not an important thing to make sure the game succeeds or something like that, but just a good measurement of people's interest with Halo Infinite. This is only the US based, the only kind of information I could find utilizing Google Trends on their stats. Now, I typed in Halo Infinite, Call of Duty Vanguard, and Battlefield 2042, and you can see this blue is all the Halo Infinite searches we've had. And even though we haven't been able to play the game for just about over a month now at this point, people are still very much interested in Halo Infinite. This is just super reassuring to me, seeing Halo being so talked about within the gaming community at large. It just really assures me that Halo Infinite has something special that we definitely will see people wanting to jump in and play. We'll have new players jump in and play the Halo game. It's not gonna be just Halo fans playing this Halo game, kind of like how it was with Halo 5 and Halo 4. After the beta experiences that we had with these three games with Halo Infinite definitely showing up on top, I mean, you guys certainly seem to agree as it was one of my most viewed videos I've had in a very long time. The general lack of enthusiasm for Call of Duty Vanguard as well seems to be kind of downplaying its searches as well as I think just not a lot of people are very interested in it being a World War II shooter and on top of that essentially just kind of being a reskin of Modern Warfare 2019 but like in the World War II setting as well. Uh, so I think it just kind of bummed out a lot of people and that you know it's still a fun nice game to play but it's not going to be bringing a lot of people in it seems like. And Battlefield 2042 well that beta was kind of a mess. Like I can tell that the core gameplay is definitely there for Battlefield, uh, but with the lack of campaign, which Halo certainly has looking to have probably the best campaign out of these three, my humble bias opinion right there, uh, but also that the gameplay, at least what we play from our early access versions of Battlefield 2042 and Halo Infinite, Halo Infinite's played really well with Battlefields, was super janky and just like had a ton of visual bugs and issues. It just wasn't really that great of an experience to play. So with all this playing into a factor, Halo Infinite set itself out to be probably the best FPS of this fall, guys. And us being a Halo channel, well, this is going to set us up pretty well. I'm very excited about grinding out some more content for Halo Infinite. 
Next, it looks like we're going to get a preview of Halo Infinite's Battle Pass here, guys. Ryan McCaffrey, who's the executive editor at IGN, tweeted this out the other day, saying, Halo Infinite Battle Pass Season 1 detail coming to you on Friday. And you know we're going to be covering that on this channel 100%, guys. But what can we expect for this Season 1 Battle Pass, and what do we already know about Battle Pass and progression when it comes to Halo Infinite? Well, let me show you. Well, first off, we did have this Season Zero preview from the technical previews that we had. I think we're going to be seeing a lot about the challenges right here, since it's going to be causing a lot of controversy, as the only way to gain XP within Halo Infinite and progress through the Battle Pass is by completing challenges, which we'll get into a little bit later in the video. Here's a quick look of the Battle Pass that we had throughout the technical preview. Obviously, this is a tiny little snippet of what's going to be available for the 100 tier Battle Pass that we're going to have here. But you can see like what's going to be free and what's going to be part of the paid tiers of the Battle Pass. Where in the free version, you see some challenge swaps, you see some codings, another challenge swap. And I think we also see some double XP gains and stuff like that as well. But a lot of the armor customization looks to be locked behind the paywall. Within the sample here, you can see what's going to be free, which is going to be some challenge swaps and some codings. I think I I saw also down the line that there were going to be occasional armor locks available, but for the most part, the paid version is going to be entailing a lot more armor customization, double XP grind boosts and things like that as well. But what I expect to see is definitely a quick walkthrough of all 100 tiers of the battle pass. Definitely going to see what the highest tier item is going to be. I think we're also going to see a little bit of the fractures that are going to be part of this, which is going to be another 20 tier little mini battle pass. It's going to be a time gated kind of temporary thing that's going to come in and out throughout an entire of a season where those fractures is gonna be the way you'll be able to unlock the Yoroi armor set that we saw the crazy looking samurai thing yeah that's how you unlock those through those fracture battle passes and since progression of the battle pass is directly tied to your challenges where well, I think we're gonna see some information on challenges as well which we already know that weekly you'll have 20 challenges that you need to complete once you complete those 20 challenges you'll be receiving the ultimate challenge which grants you a unique reward it being like a new coding or an emblem or things like that also, buying into the Battle Pass rewards you a fourth slot to earn more challenges as well, so more progress you can be earning through the Battle Pass as well. There are going to be challenge swaps. The ways you can earn challenge swaps is by through the Battle Pass, event passes, you can also purchase them within the store as well. There's also various promotions that you can pick up like rock stars and stuff like that. Also, a very important thing is I think they're going to see as well is going to be the double XP boost that we're going to be having continuously through Halo Infinite. We know right now that the double XP boosts are set for a 30 minute in real time timer, not in game time, real time timer. So if you know you're going to be sitting down playing for the next 30 minutes, you can hit go and start earning your double XP. Double XP can be earned through the battle pass, purchase at the store, and also promotions as well. I do hope that 343 finds a way to where it doesn't feel so stressful about activating these double XP boosts, because once you start it, it's gonna go for the next 30 minutes and that's it in real time. Well, if there's a situation where you need to get up and use the restroom, what if you need to go stop and like there's an emergency? I really wish there was a way to you could like activate it and then you can pause it if you need to get up and go somewhere and then activate it back on before you get into another game. I know Call of Duty's double XP tokens did a very similar thing as well, where it was like in real time where they had their double XP boosts. 343 did say that they are looking to find some ways to iterate on the double XP boost and how they can improve it along with the community feedback. 343 does state that there are going to be hundreds of unique items in store for season one with armors, coatings, accessories, and other surprises on the way when it comes to season one and beyond that as well. But so stay tuned to the channel guys for this Friday and we'll get a chance to see what all is going to be entailed for the battle pass. Next bit of news here guys is a Halo project created by the former community manager Bravo who said this is an over a year in the making when it comes to making this audio visual podcast kind of thing that they're putting together about Halo 2 called Halo 2 Artifacts and here's a bit of a trailer for you guys to check out. This is Max Hoberman. I'm the uh, CEO, founder of Certain Affinity, and prior to that, I was uh, working at Bungie. I was the multiplayer online and user interface design lead for Halo 2. That's right, Halo 2. One of the most eagerly awaited video games finally goes on sale. Video gamers across the country are anxiously awaiting the midnight release of a game called Halo 2. Five minutes and counting for Halo 2 to go on sale. A game that would play a huge role in shaping not only my life and career, but also, and much more importantly, the future of multiplayer gaming. So this is just a really interesting bit of content creation from a former employee talking with a former developer of Halo 2's multiplayer, talking about a deep dive look into like a podcast kind of form of Halo 2's development, things that they want to do, things they, they did do, and, and what it all meant for just gaming in general, since Halo 2 was a 
literal game changer when it came to the experience of playing online multiplayer. The first episode airs this Friday on November 5th, and it'll be a weekly podcast show talking about Halo 2 and everything it meant to the gaming and also people just in general. If you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, here's a place we're here to keep you up to date with all the Halo informational news and information videos we've been uploading daily about. Thanks so much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.